I asked you guys at the community tab what video you wanted me to film next, and an overwhelming majority of you wanted me to have you guys choose my makeup. Yes, you. Right there. Oh, is that a dog on your lap? And everyone wanted me to avoid all the other social platforms in order to choose the makeup, because not all of you have Twitter. I get it. So I'm asking you guys in today's video to leave a comment down below with like the number one or like two products that you really, really want me to test out and use in my makeup routine. And so leave them in the comment section below. And also, if you see a comment with a product that you also want me to try out, give that comment a big thumbs up. Because the more thumbs up, the more likely that I will be to try it. And I figured I'd ask you guys now before I forgot. Hello everyone! I'm here today to share with you guys a new first impression type video and I actually asked you guys on Insta Story between two products what you wanted me to do a first impression review on. And all of you guys kind of picked back and forth. A lot of you had chosen the product that I actually reviewed last Sun- not the past Sunday but the that Sunday before that. And I've been getting a lot of comments from you guys since then to see if I'm actually going to review the other products, so I thought I'd sit down and share that with you as well. And that is the Origins Pore Perfecting Cooling Primer, and this is a spray, like a moussey foam primer, which I think is pretty awesome. And also it says it's cooling on here, and I want to know what that means. Does, are we talking like frigid icicle cold, or like slight lukewarm splash in the face? I don't know. So I thought I would show you guys what it looks like, how it wears, the longevity, things like that. I'll do a wrap up at the end of the day and show you guys what it's actually looking like and it's gonna be going through a lot like I'm spending the whole day with my family uh, once I finish filming so it's it's gonna be going through a lot so I hope you guys find this video helpful give it a big thumbs up if you do and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos every Tuesday Thursday and Sunday and without further ado let's get into this all right so now that we're zoomed in a little bit let's talk a little bit about what this product is and what it's supposed to do so it says on the Sephora website by the way it's available at Sephora this is supposed to be a cooling airy mousse like primer that leaves the skin looking fresh and poor-fected. Poor, poor affected. I get it. I get it, Origins. And softly glowing. It is supposed to- oh, it has a glowing element to it. I'm into that. Continue. It says here it is going to improve the appearance of pores, it's going to smooth out any texture, and also brighten the skin. And they're promoting this particular ingredient called willow herb, and it says that the willow herb is going to inhibit any dullness causing protein change in your skin and restore a very natural gorgeous glow. Because I guess apparently as early as your 20s your skin starts to change and it loses luster and needs extra help to bounce back from everyday stress. <laughs> really? Really early 20s, are you sure? It has 60 milliliters of product in it, which in comparison to, for example, the YSL All Hours Primer, which granted is more expensive, it is a little bit more premium, it has 40 milliliters of product. So it is it is on par. I always think with these foam things that they don't have a lot of product in here, but it actually does sound like there's a lot of product in here. So this is an aerosol spray. It says shake well and dispense and then apply it before makeup. All right, let's do this. And this is what we're working with. Ooh! Goodness, that was aggressive. So that right there is what we're looking like. That is like a foam. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it's popping like like Rice Krispies. Oh my gosh, that is so cold, guys. That's like putting icicles on my skin. Ah! And it's almost like tinted. I don't know if you guys can see that, but like it squishes down. It feels so cool on the skin, like actually literally cold on the skin. It smooths down to almost like a cream-like texture as well. Like it's nice and like it feels really comfortable on the skin, but definitely very fresh and I love- I love the smell of it. Oh, that smells really good. Can you spray it directly on the skin or do you have to spray it onto the- Ow, that's really loud! Like I wanted to know if it was one of those things where you could be like and then like blend it all in, but like I don't think so. Oh. That's very loud. This to me feels very much like a summer play. You want something to be very cold and refreshing on the skin, maybe even before like festival season. That is when I would have, that's when I would have personally launched it, but you know, I'm not Origins. I probably don't want to use any sort of like blending brush because I can feel it almost start to pill a little bit. I don't really see any sort of like brightening to the skin, but I am definitely noticing some poor minimization. But as I'm rubbing my hands together, you can see that pilling right there. So you're gonna have to be really careful when you're applying this. But it's definitely something I think that once you've kind of smoothed it into skin to like leave it there and then pat your foundation on top because otherwise it is going to pill everywhere. So now I'm just gonna see how foundation wears on top of it. So I'm going to use my little half of a beauty blender. And if you wanna know what happens to this, go check the video where I cut it in half. And I'm gonna use the YSL All Hours Foundation. I wanna use one that I know how it works and how it wears um, versus one that's new because I want to see just exclusively how the primer is going to wear with it. So I'm just going to press it into the skin and just see how this looks. The foundation is applying really well on top of this and my skin looks like really, really good 
so far. So we'll see how it looks by the end of the day, but in terms of first impression, combined with this foundation in particular, really like it. Oh my goodness, I definitely chose the wrong foundation shade today. It is going to be a neck bronzer day today, people. So now I'm gonna go and finish up with powder and bronzer and all that fun stuff, and then I'll be back and we'll see what this looks like powder. Okay, so now that my makeup is done, let's zoom in to my skin here, shall we? You know what, I have to say, my skin looks pretty darn good right now. The powder and everything sits well on top of it. My pores still don't look super pronounced. They seem to be minimized in a nice way. Everything is nice and smooth. So far, so far so good. So this right here is what we were looking at at the beginning of the day, freshly made up. So I will be back at the end of the day. We'll do a little wear test. I'll show you what everything is looking like and hopefully it's still looking really good because I like my skin right now. Feels like a good skin day. So uh, I'm gonna go about my day. I'm gonna go hang out with my family and I'll check in with you guys in a bit. Hey guys, so it is now the end of the day and this is what my makeup is now looking like. And throughout the day, I have to say, my skin looked pretty good. It was very, um, I, I noticed that my pores were very refined. They weren't as enlarged, they weren't as noticeable. I did find that my skin looked a lot smoother. I wouldn't say brighter though, that was, that was not something I noticed. It did not add to the longevity of my makeup at all. It's the end of the day, yeah, but like my makeup should be staying on a lot better, especially like on my chin. You can see it's kind of come off in areas around here. I mean, granted, this is the wear and tear of makeup after a day playing with two toddlers and an infant, but still. I also don't love the fact that you have to be super careful when applying it so that it doesn't pill on the skin at all. That's not something I'm going to enjoy, and I'll have to think about that every time I apply it to my skin. So overall, will I use this product again? Yes, is it my favorite? No, it does have it its upsides though, I do really like how it really minimized my pores in a very noticeable way and my skin looked a lot smoother all day, which I really liked, so I want to continue to use it, but it's definitely not gonna be for those days where I want my makeup to last a long period of time because it's not gonna do that for me. So let me know in the comments. Let me know if this is something that you guys have tried, if you like it, if you're curious about it. I'm interested in knowing. And now I'm going to take off my makeup and I'm gonna go make some cookies. I was gonna say go to bed, but I'm not going to bed, I'm gonna make cookies. Cookies for sure. And that is everything for this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you like these first impression type videos. If you have any requests for cool products that you have seen that you want me to review, leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to also share with me the products that you want me to test out for the subscribers choose my makeup challenge. I'm so excited to see what products you guys have selected for me. And that is everything. Thing. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on that video and new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. And that's everything. I hope you guys are having an amazing, amazing week so far, and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Love you, girls. Mwah!